What's up guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel and today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 ways that Canadians are different than Americans. Now let's start with some basic facts and as this list goes on, we'll get to some more serious stuff at the end. Number one, we use kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. In fact, you guys are like the only ones who use miles per hour. I mean, check this map out. And also we can do like 110 on the highway. You guys can only do what, like 60, 65? Come on guys, it's time to join the winning team on this one. The second way we're different is we use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. I know Americans love their Fahrenheit. They love to say, oh yeah, it's so hot. It's 105 degrees out today. No, it's not 105 degrees out today or my skin would be on fire. It's like 36, you know, it's, it's Celsius. It's the thing that literally everyone else uses except for... <sighs> Moving on to number three. Yeah, our money is uh, plastic instead of paper. And I know it looks kind of weird and people are always like, is that real money? Like what, what is this? And I'm old enough to remember back when we had paper bills and they introduced the plastic ones. Oh, Sonny, those were crazy times. And at first everyone's like, but they're so slippery. Like we were not gonna be able to, actually no, it's, it's fine, it's money, it, it works. It doesn't tear. Um, I'm not gonna test this theory too hard because this is a 50, but yeah, like it doesn't tear easily at least. And also like if you forget about your money and it goes through the washing machine, it's fine. There's no way for water or heat to damage this, these bills. So uh, yeah, I think that's another win for Canada. Oh yeah, speaking of money, I, I mean, I know this is a minor thing, but do you guys remember when there used to be like that little copper colored thing that was never good for buying anything and it would just weigh your pockets down and you'd always be like fumbling with them? Oh yeah, pennies, pennies. Um, yeah, we got rid of those like, Seven years ago, something like that. Well, probably the most talked about item in today's federal budget is the extinction of the penny. And at first everyone was like, nah, but we like pennies. They're like those cool little guys that hang out in our pockets and always like accidentally come out when we're reaching for our keys. Oh, I, I like them because you see them all over the place. Finding things is fun. But then we got rid of pennies and I haven't really missed them. I don't know, I don't really deal with change. I use my debit and stuff, so. Um. Yeah, yeah. you guys should probably get rid of pennies. But believe it or not, this video is not just me uh, giving Americans advice on how to live their life. I actually do want to talk about some more serious cultural differences than just pennies. And to begin with, let's go to number five. Everything is bigger in America. 12 yard long, two lanes wide, 65 tons of American pride. Americans like to say everything is bigger in Texas. I don't know, I guess Texas is like the most American America to ever be America. When, when I'm a Canadian and I go anywhere in the States, everything gets bigger. The roads you drive on become these crazy freeways with like eight lanes of traffic. The food portions get bigger. I remember when I was a kid and my family took a trip to California and we went to McDonald's or something and I was just shocked at how big the cups were. Do you really need that much Coke before 11 a.m.? Um, but yeah, it's America. Things are bigger, what can I say? And sort of connected to that last one, I have to say that America is a great place to be rich. Probably the best place in the world to be rich. The American dream that people talk about, like you guys are still the place that so many people around the world want to get to because it's where you can make it the biggest. You guys can hit levels in America that, I mean, not to diss my country, but we're just not at that same high level. With that being said, I think Canada is a great place to not be rich. I don't mean it's a great place to be poor, I just mean, if you're not at that highest level, I think like middle class life is probably better in Canada than in the United States. We just have like government support systems and we have a society that believes that everyone should have a basic standard of living. We pay more taxes and stuff like that. Sometimes like hardcore libertarians and people from the US think that we are completely socialist and think that Canada has gone crazy. That's one way to see it. The way we see it is just like, people deserve a chance at a good life. And listen guys, I know when you talk about politics, everyone has a different view, everyone has a different opinion, and 
I know enough to know that the government doesn't always speak for all the people. So it's not like there's Americans who wouldn't like, you know, a university to be cheaper. And it's not like there's Canadians who wouldn't like to pay less taxes. It's kind of like, these are just generalizations about where the countries are. Oh yeah, and another reason Canada is a great place not to be rich is free healthcare. Yeah. Um, little known fact, there was recently a law passed that means that Canadians have to mention free healthcare in any conversation with Americans or any discussion about Americans. Um, so free healthcare, free healthcare, free healthcare. Let's move on to number nine. And number nine is Americans think that they are the center of the universe. Um, <laughs> I can already hear the angry comments coming down below, but hear me out on this one because I've given a lot of thought to this. As some of you know, I travel a lot. I, I, I go to different countries and sometimes I'll be staying in hostels and stuff with many different travelers and you meet people from all around the world. And when you do that, you introduce yourself. So you tell each other where you're from. And I've seen this situation so many times where you have one traveler who says, yeah, I'm from China. Another traveler says, oh, I'm from Germany. Another one says, I'm from Australia. I tell people I'm from Canada. And then an American will say, I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> or I'm from Ohio. Whereas no one else in the world does that. I would never tell a group of travelers that I'm from Manitoba. Because they don't know Manitoba. Just like a German would never say they are from, I, I had to write this one down, Schleswig-Holstein, Schleswig-Holstein. It's a real place, look it up. <laughs> I do understand it. Like, this isn't a diss. I understand it because you guys are the cultural... You guys are like the cultural standard, at least for the English-speaking world. Like, so many of our magazines and our movies and our music and all this stuff is about America, set in America, made by Americans. Before I ever visited Los Angeles, like, I'd heard of Inglewood, I'd heard of Compton, I'd heard of Long Beach. Because I listened to hip hop. I listened to Tupac and Biggie when I was in high school. We have an understanding of America as non-Americans that isn't reciprocal. And so I would say that Americans have the spotlight and for the most part, they like it. Uh, and for the most part, Canadians like not being the center of the universe. Like there's a lot of Canadian actors and famous people who you probably don't even know they're Canadian. People like this. <laughs> Now I have time for one more rant and it's gonna be about something that I often hear as a Canadian and it's that Canadians are so polite. Now let's talk about that for a second. Are Canadians more polite than Americans? Is there truth to this often uh, repeated on the internet meme? Do you need any help? No, I think we're okay. Okay then. Happy Wednesday, you two. I've been to America a few times and I've met such cool people. So I know from experience that there are some really friendly and very polite Americans who are out there. You know, Southern hospitality, all that stuff, right? But in Canada, it's just, there are little things that are socially, almost like socially required in a way that they are not in the United States. Like, oh, if you bump into someone on the sidewalk, you say sorry. People always say Canadians say sorry. It's just, you don't want to offend people. I think Americans don't care so much about offending people. It's just like, this is America. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's my list of 10 ways that Canadians are in fact different than Americans. Let me know what you think of your list. Your list, my list. How did it become your list? See, I'm so polite. I'm literally giving you my list. Um, <laughs> okay, guys, you have entered into the bonus round of the video. I asked you guys on Instagram how you think Canadians and Americans are different. And I'm gonna read a few of your answers. Moniram80 says, I think Canadians are nicer from a Mexican perspective. Jorgi Duzm underscore says, Canadians are more friendly, multicultural, open-minded, responsible, and many more values. Jorge, you're gonna break my back patting me on the back so many times. Okay, so the Alcala Mario says, Americans talk more and are more open. Yeah, I would agree with that. Brittany Savoy? Savoy says food portions. Uh, I think she means Americans have bigger food portions. Uh, if that's what you mean, Brittany, yeah, I agree. Uh, they eat a lot. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. But let me know if I have anything I forgot. Let me know what would be your number 11 on this list. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Peace. I know it's a penny. It's, no, it's, a, it's worth a penny only, but finding things is fun.